Hi. So today, uh, what we're going to talk about, it's uh, middle of July, perfect kind of hopper dropper weather. Uh, lots of ants running around. Uh, typically, I'll run an ant with a small nymph, nymph, <laughs> if I could say the word, nymph running below it. Um, a lot of people avoid this because the big challenge is always trying to hook, trying to put your line onto the bend of the hook. That's really, really hard to do on the stream. Uh, but I'm going to show you a simple technique. I probably have shown this to you before, uh, but if you're new, uh, this, is a, this is a simple trick. I call it the hemostat trick. Um, there's some tools that you can do to make this work better, but I'm just going to show you how I tie almost every clinch knot um, that I that I do. So I'm going to use a sort of a large thing so you can see it. So this is my hook. This is my. So you put your line through the hook. So you have to be able to get it through there. Okay. Then I take my line and I run it through kind of my, the crook of my hand, and I pinch the tag end. See, so there's a little bit of tag end sticking out. Then all you have to do is take your hemostats and you have them unclipped at this point, but closed. And I'm kind of grabbing this end a little bit too, see, down here. And I'm pushing down. And then you spin this one, two, three, four. I'm only going to do it four times because this is thick line, but you'd do it six times normally. Then you grab your tag end. See how I grab the tag end? And this will pull, you just pull this the length of your fly. Then you would then, all you have to do is then grab your fly and your line and it cinches down perfectly. Okay? Now that's on a giant hook like this. Now I tie all of my, I mean, that's how I, that's how I put it. That's just what I do just because it's so much quicker and easier and I'm not touching the fly. A lot of times when you try to do the standard uh, cinch knot, you know, your, your manhandle, you know, some people do this and it manhandles their fly. So this, this, this approach so easy stick it through grab the tag end stick this through one two three four five six and then grab the tag end and pull through okay easy easy peasy and you can tie cinch knots in a fraction of a second all right now where this comes in handy is on your fly line or when you got a hook so here's my hook and if you try to tie a standard cinch nut to this and it's a tiny little fly this falls off the end it's just it's a it's a nightmare so what I do is I just take my fly line I'm gonna show you this with the actual fly line in a second do the same exact thing pretend that there's a fly there one, two, three, four, five, six. Bring this through. Now, this loop down here at the end, you can put your hook through, and then this just cinches right down onto it. Okay? Like that. And it won't come off. I mean, it really is on there. So, how do I tie a hopper dropper? Well, the first thing that I do is uh, usually, so I'll start with something like a big old, like a Chernobyl ant like this. And then I'll maybe want to tie, uh, let's pick something t small here. Maybe like a little Prince Nymph or something on the end of it, okay? So it's gonna, this is gonna be hanging down. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get some line on the end of this. Now, typically I use regular, um, you know, my regular leader monofilament leader. With a hopper dropper on the end, I tend to use um, uh, 
I tend to use uh, fluorocarbon, but we're just gonna we're gonna just pull off some just some forex tippet here, just just to kind of show you how I do it. Okay, so here's my forex tippet. I want to tie this onto the shank or the bend of the hook. Now to tie that on there, it's going to be to do this without losing your fly in the water is, is like a nightmare, okay? So what I do is I take this line, and this is going to be very, very hard for you to see, but I'm going to try to do it for you anyway. Hopefully my high-tech phone system here works. Okay, so you can see it there a little bit. I'm going to stick this down here. So I've run it through. I've run the line through my thumb and I'm holding the tag end right up there. See if you can see it. See? And I'm going to pull this down and I go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I grab the tag end and I pull it through. So now I have, see against my shirt, I have the tag end that sticking through there. Now I can take my Chernobyl loop it through that end. See how it's looped through now? And I pull this and that thing that thing is on there now. So at that point then I can easily now take and I've made this line about I'd say one and a half times the depth of the water you're going to do. So now I'm going to take my nymph And, man, I have the worst background here. Okay. And I'm going to stick this through. So, see, now I've got that on there. So, I hang this. See how I've got the same technique, right? I grab my hemos, which I always have. Obviously, push this down. Spin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab the tag end. Pull it through just the length of the fly. You don't want to pull on that tag end because you'll mess up your knot. Then you have it there. Lube it. Pull that tight. And now you have... Ow, that hurt. Now you have your hopper dropper. Okay? So, that's, that's the way it's done. Very simply, all it is with a hemostat. Practice that hemostat knot till you're doing it without even thinking. I would then trim this off. Obviously. And uh, you're good to go. Okay? Easy. You can tie a hopper dropper in seconds. And that's the key is to be able to do that really, really quickly. All right? See you next time.